since Peter Shilton in 1990. It is a team that is greater than the sum of its parts. Unchanged from the penalty shootout win over Brazil. Eight of their starting 11 have played over 500 minutes. Argentina have just three of those. European Cup winners, Cup winner Lee Dixon and ten times came and then hesitated and Molina's continued. This wasn't sharp enough to find Julian Alvarez who came sprinting into the six-yard box. No, he thought about it, didn't he? Of Dominic Ivakovic. Thought about... Romero might be getting a little talking to here oh, as well for the, the foul on this near side. He actually, he's lucky. That's not the one we're looking at, that might have been a free kick. Here comes Alexis McAllister, who just overran it slightly and drew the challenge from Modric. Yeah, it's a free kick, OK, just catches him there. Green minds laughing. Defenders picked up, though, instead, and poked forward by Enzo Fernandez, looking for Messi. Daniel Sato of Italy is the referee. He says no foul. Well, he was pointing Messi where he wanted him. Has got it back again. Chance to cross from Juranovic, which is deep towards Lovren. He rose well, but two Argentine defenders collided. Yeah, just a little bit too deep. Pulls off Lovren the back post. I think Dalic will be really pleased how his team started this game, but the worrying thing is that, strangely, Kovacic ran into traffic and didn't have too many other options. He has managed to win his country a free kick. Did very well in the end there. He was running into trouble, but just turned around to make sure he put himself between the... Pallister. Chance for Alvarez. Has to squeeze that goalwards. Romero. There's a reasonable effort. Crowd getting a little bit more excited than we were. It was a comfortable save. He played it through to Kramerich. And then Kramerich felt he was fouled and read free. Daniele Osato concurs and gives the free kick. Fantastic pressing on Messi right on the halfway line. As soon as he got the, foot, the ball to feet, they were. Tic wants it on the near side. Kovacic eventually gets it to him. Kramaric is lurking at the far post. Perisic tries to chip the goalkeeper. Well, he spotted Martinez off his line. He thinks that there might have been a handball here. I'm not sure it was, it was asking for a deflection. It certainly was. It's brilliant. Again from Modric. Everybody on the back foot from Argentina as soon as Modric gets the ball. Here's a chance for Argentina at the other end. And Alvarez has been bought. It's been cleared off the line. A penalty is going to be given. And it's a yellow card for Lovakovic. Alvarez floored by the Croatia goalkeeper. There's a yellow card over on the far side as well. For Kovacic, who was complaining. He doesn't have the best record from the spot. He has missed 28% of all penalties he's ever taken. Him, didn't you? We man pressure penalty. Goal does well. Lavakovic goes the right way. Here we see the offence getting committed. Definitely takes him out after he flicks it around him. But when the goalkeeper goes the right way, you've got to lift it. And he does that. That's unstoppable. Officially unstoppable. Well, he's been doing the old waiting for the keeper to move one and just rolling it into the opposite corner. For attack is on and Messi has helped it through. Alvarez is scampering, Molina is sprinting through the centre, Alvarez might go in alone here, he's still going! Well, they stop Brazil's music, but Croatia might not stop this! 
Messi, Alvarez and Argentina from having one last dance. It may all have been about the number 10 in the build-up to the game, but that was one persistent number. Boys, a tremendous goal. Do not underestimate the part in it by Molina, the right fullback. He must run 30, 40 yards, and it forces the defenders into making the decision. Messi's looking for a free kick here. This is an incredible one. Rodrigo de Paul, he's going to hit it, and the deflection off the body on sends it out for a corner kick. Rodrigo de Paul is asking. For the referee to consider a possible handball here. Yeah, as the shot came in, just have a look. He puts his hands behind his back and then he just leans into it. I mean, it does hit him on his arm, but his arm is based. First Argentine corner. And it towards that near post, and Lukakovic has had to make a save from Alexis McAllister. And it's a massive save. What a save this is. Look how close he is. Just sticks a left hand out. It's brilliant. Reflex, all that training, that's what that is. McAllister thinks he's in. He's still got it, there's three chasing him. And he wins a free kick in the final seconds of the first half. Right, well, I mean, that's not on. It's just officially not on that. He lost that three times. At that point there, I thought he was going to have to throw a double six to get out of that, but he just keeps going, I mean... At half time, let's see how that uh, manifests itself with Ali McCoy, Lee Dixon, and Sam Matterface. I think of more concern to Argentina fans is the uh, current health of Lionel Messi. McAllister still down, Paredes with the effort. And the referee still says play on, despite the fact that McAllister's asking for treatment. They do is with the shot, just got to keep your eye on it, concentrate the goalkeeper. To say, on Vardy on. Messi flicks it through, gets it back again for Fernandez. It's Messi. It's stopped by Lavakovic. Oh, I, I tell you, I, I don't care how much the ticket is to get in here. Just, just to watch this. Look how strong he is. He's got a big centre half against him, and he's just at the last moment. And you think he's going to fall over. He gets that toe out again and makes a brilliant pass, and then goes for the one-two. Absolute genius. <laughs> oh dear. You know, he just looks... The thing is, he doesn't get injured very often, though, does he? He doesn't miss many games. Another marble. We were looking at the minutes played. Sandra Martinez on. Free kick in towards Lovren, who's fighting with Martinez, lashing to almost got there. And somehow Argentina get it away. It's a chance, cross ball. What we're expecting. for a foul against Alvarez. Modric in a city of the free kick. Yeah, and it's one of these free kicks that they don't mind giving away, and Alvarez. Oh. The boys need to get around the boat. Masic. Masic. Oh. Here comes Messi. Accelerating away from Vardiol. Twisting him, turning him, getting behind him, setting up. destroyed one of the World Cup's emerging stars and set up Julian Alvarez for what could be a significant goal. Well, just watch him here. It's not the pace, it's the slowing down and the speeding up. Guardiola thinks he's got him, then he goes again, then he stops him, then he turns him, then he goes again, and off the mark speed is absolutely sensational, and then puts it on a plate. This will, this will show it, just watch this, he slows him down. Stop, thinks he's got it, defender, no he hasn't in the tournament. And they are in a cracking position now. And even Croatia, the team that have come back when Japan had them, when Brazil had them. Not going to come back from this, are they? 
And a shot which goes towards Emi Martinez's goal is easily saved from Perisic. Yeah, that's comfortable, isn't it? Yeah. Just going back to Messi again, because we can't stop talking about him. What defenders hate, they don't mind sprinting flat out. Quickly taken. And immediately on the attack, McAllister misses his opportunity. Watch Messi, just as you switch off. Look, there you go. Oh. He just does his... He never switches off, that fella. He's as bright as a button. Everybody's... Lovro Meyer, a flick to the far post, and Lovro couldn't reach it. And that might have made an unsettling last five minutes for Argentina. I don't know whether he's unsighted, I just think he's got to score. It's a lovely flick on Perisic. Oh. He just gets a bit unhandled at the back. He's trying to get away from Otamendi, yeah. and he's fighting with him instead of concentrating yeah. on the ball. Meyer's got on, Vlasic tries to curl it. It's a goal kick. It's Dan Lovren. He's going to hit it. It's over the bar. <laughs> Scripts like this are only written for the greatest. Luka Modric will depart the stage, but Lionel Messi will get the chance to star in a World Cup finale and have the opportunity to bow out in the most perfect of setting. Emotional celebration, deafening noise. The Argentine fans have invaded.